Let's begin with the theory, because theory is also important. When you understand things, when you have it in your brain, you will be able to do it with your hands. So how to choose a good rhinestones? As you probably know, there are many different rhinestones out there in the market. And one of the most popular and basically it's monopoly almost manufacturer is Swarovski. It's Austrian brand and they produce fantastic rhinestones and they shine really well. Uh, they last really long. So what I'm saying is that when you apply it on the nail, even after a few weeks, they will still shine bright like a diamond and they will, you know, keep this shine and it's really easy to apply them. So how to understand if it's Swarovski that we have or no? You just need to take a close look and usually they have this perfectly even bottoms and if you look even closer you will see that these bottoms they are actually textured and this texture actually allows this rhinestone to adhere to any surface really well and also if you look at the edges they're all same and perfect. Also we have glass rhinestones which are made of glass and there are many many manufacturers who are actually doing these glass rhinestones mostly they are produced in China and also they can be different quality some of them are really good and it's sometimes it's even hard to tell the difference between them and Swarovski some of them are not as good but still I think that's a good alternative and what's the main difference between glass and Swarovski is how they last so here on this finger I have a, a rhinestone which is not Swarovski and it's been a week uh, when I did this nail. So as you can see it's not as perfect anymore. It's not that shiny, it has some scratches on it and that's the main difference. So glass rhinestones will look pretty on the first day but after two to three weeks they will not look as good in compared with Swarovski. Also, we have plastic rhinestones, which usually have a huge difference. As you can already see, they have not these perfect edges and their bottoms, it's usually solid, it's not textured, so they do not adhere as well to the surface. And usually they have really different edges, they can have different sizes, they don't shine as well, and obviously they don't last well, I mean, they if you secure them well, they will stay on the nails, but they will not shine as well. So, to sum it up, what I can say is that Swarovski is definitely the best solution. Uh, and the only disadvantage, I believe, is the price, but all the rest are only advantages. Glass rhinestones are pretty good. They are way more cheaper, but if for, especially when you're using a large so size of the glass rhinestones, they kind of look, well, you see they don't look as good after several weeks. So if you want to use a large size, it's better to choose Swarovski and for the rest of ones you can choose the glass one. It really depends on where you work, on the salon you're working, you know. Um, and glass rhinestones, they don't really look as good and I usually use them just to show some samples on the tips for example to practice some designs just to see how the colors match with each other etc.